Hi everyone and welcome to this short tutorial on programming with Garmin 430 for the flight plan mode. You should already have software on your computer for the simulation. So all we're going to do is uh, go ahead and load that up. You can load it up with me if you want to. Uh, otherwise just uh, load it up on the lab computers next time you're back at the airport. But we can see that the uh, 430 is booting up just like it would in the airplane. Uh, going through its normal checks. Don't worry about the database being expired. This is just the simulator. Hit enter when you confirm that and also hit enter once you confirm that the uh, HSI and the Garmin 430 are talking to each other. Satellites will come into view and uh, once it's confirmed that it's got three-dimensional navigation it'll show you uh, in the map and where you are uh, in the world. And we can zoom in. You already know all that. Up to this point, most of your flying has been done with a direct-to function. And that's fine uh, for local uh, practice work, uh, going to the practice area, flying the traffic pattern, that sort of thing. But Garmin and Avidyne and Cirrus all recommend that for most of your flights, you're going to want to use the flight plan mode. And the direct-to function is only for diversions. It's so important, in fact, that they dedicate its own page to it. And right there is the flight plan button. All you have to do to create a flight plan is go ahead and push that button and notice that it uh, shows uh, Battle Creek as the first waypoint. Uh, the Garmin 430 unit recognizes that you're air at an airport and it assumes that you're going to start your flight plan from that airport. To start putting in waypoints, all we have to do is turn the cursor on and then just like you would add in any waypoint um, uh, uh, in beyond the direct to function, uh, start to dial it in. Uh, so let's go to Kalamazoo first of all, and the identifier is KAZO. Uh, you can uh, dial in those at your leisure. Uh, we'll scroll over. Remember, we can scroll forward and backwards with the Garmin 430. Makes it very easy and quick. KAZO and that uh, is Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport actually gives the latitude and longitude. Simply hit enter and it becomes part of the flight plan. As a matter of fact this little pink magenta line, uh, the magenta line is showing you that that's the current leg. And the little green pointer down here is showing you how to get to Kalamazoo. But we'll add on to that yet. Let's go to another waypoint. We're going to add in the Muskegon Airport. So that's KMKG. Muskegon County, Muskegon, Michigan. Again, hit enter. Now, uh, again, the active leg is just this first one, and Muskegon will show up after that. For now, that's all we're going to do. Hit the flight plan function uh, button again, and if I zoom in here, we'll see a magenta line that takes us from Battle Creek to the Kalamazoo Airport. Beyond that, there's another white line, and that's our trip up to Muskegon. Simple as it can be. Anytime along the flight, if you do need to divert, simply hit the direct to key as you would uh, any other time. Find the nearest airport and you can divert. But your flight plan stays in uh, the flight plan, plan page, so you can always go back to it. As a matter of fact, uh, halfway to Kalamazoo, if you decide you're going to go direct to Muskegon, cursor on, scroll down to Muskegon, direct, enter, enter. And now, it's going to draw a new line for us up to Muskegon. Okay, play with it for a little bit, uh, but that's what you should be using from now on uh, in your flights. Have a good day.